So Marcus, it's pretty tough being a trustee at the moment. You've got money to invest, bank interest rates are low, the share market's all over the place, commercial property's through the roof in terms of value. Should I just put my money under the pillow, under the mattress? Well, um, <laughs> that's a very interesting analogy. I was going to say there's been a few sleepless nights, so maybe it probably is actually a good idea. Uh, it's an extremely difficult environment at the moment, you know, as both of us know. And you know, when you're when you're dealing with like a trust and like a, and uh, it's like you're quite a you're quite a lot of uh, portfolio assets and so on, it's uh, you know it's you're scratching your head uh, all the time in relation to like you know what do we do are we doing the right thing and so what's the, the most important thing in my mind and what most clients forget most clients work really hard to save their money but strange enough most of them want to go and gamble it or red and black and try to make more to me that's the right. most important thing is return of capital not return on capital that's why we're seeing negative interest rates in europe you're going to get back 98 percent of what you put in great you're actually going to get that much back there's no downside risk or limited downside risk so it's a really weird market, isn't it? Well, oh, it, it certainly is, and uh, you know, and there's so you know, as, as you've said like a number of times, there's so much cash sitting out there mm. waiting for a place to invest. What, what are people looking at? You know, uh, hedge funds, you know, kind of Muji markets, mm. you know, all, all those things and so on, like you know, which we've investigated and so on. It you know don't necessarily like you know work mm. either. And look, the markets will create one day, create uh, a correction one day. We know that's going to happen. But what people have to remember is what's their investment horizon? Am I investing short term, in which I probably shouldn't be in the markets, or is this intergenerational? In which case we just ride it out. The biggest problem in 20, 2007 was that actually most people took their mark money out at the bottom of the market and then didn't ride it back up. Those that rode it out were back where they started within 18 months. Yeah, correct. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very important point that people miss in relation to investment strategy mm. is, you know, taking a long-term view of things, mm. especially if you've got like a, you know, a, um, a pool of wealth sitting there mm. and so on, which is for the benefit of a, a family over a number of years. Yeah. You can't... Um, you can't act in a knee-jerk uh, no. type of situation. And the other thing is maybe if you've got different investment horizons, you, you break your fund up into different pieces. The shorter duration stuff is more income focused and less risk. Mm -hmm. The longer duration stuff is more growth focused. Look at the New Zealand Super Fund. It's got an investment horizon of 50 years. It's thinking 50 years out. Most families can't think two years out. That, that's right. And for the New Zealand Super Fund, that works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and every family is going to be different, mm. and we have to consider that. Mm. So it's going to be interesting times, isn't it? Definitely.